Hey guys, today I just got back from the store and as you can tell from the title, I got myself a Nerf Rapid Strike and uh, this is actually one of the only few blasters I have from the uh, Elite line. I don't have the uh, Alpha Trooper, I don't have the Spectre. What I do have is a Triad, a Jolt and I think a Strife. That's about it. So I was, to be honest, I wasn't actually intending on getting this blaster. Uh, reason being because it actually retails at $99.99 .99 so uh, to be honest I haven't spent that kind of money in a while on a stock nerf uh, and strike blaster of course I have spent that kind of money on like eBay lots or some of the vintage blasters itself but uh, for nerf blaster I really haven't bought one uh, that pricey in a while I never bought a Vulcan I never bought a Stampede at the retail price and uh, the next most expensive would be your long shot which I always get on 20% discount so it's about 60 uh, Singapore dollars so yeah this is really quite uh, expensive in that sense for me and uh, but anyway uh, what I am going to show you guys is today a quick review uh, I understand that there are many reviews uh, around on the internet on YouTube and uh, probably this might be one of your you know many many you have watched but uh, I'll try not to be boring and uh, try to see if I can actually uh, point out something new which uh, other reviewers have not covered so yep time to unbox okay guys in the box you will get the instruction manual the blaster itself um, 18 and strike elite darts as well as your and strike a uh, clear clip all right on the manual you can actually see all the parts that uh, have been labeled on the blaster and uh, more or less its features okay i'll now take them out of the box okay guys this is the blaster out of box before i actually go in depth um, i would first do a size comparison okay and uh, what i have uh, brought to do a comparison is actually a nerf long shot so uh, you guys can see over here that both blasters are actually relatively uh, actually they are almost identical in length this is when the stock is uh, fully collapsed so of course uh, when it is uh, extended then it will be slightly longer all right blaster has your standard rails one at the bottom one on top uh, one at two at the side uh, one on each side of course blaster sports that uh, digital camo which all of a lot of your uh, other elite blasters also have uh, stretching back as far as the nerf raider um, okay there is a flip up side over here which is uh, collapsible as well jam door is clear Mag release is actually located at the bottom here which can be either uh, accessed from the uh, extension of your middle finger or uh, yeah, at the middle finger. Uh, this way it is good because it is actually ambidextrous. Ambidextrous just means that you can actually use um, either hand to actually remove the clip. Alright, and uh, lastly for the stock what we have here is a fixed stock so you cannot remove this and attach it to your other um, end strike blasters. Alright, it only has uh, two positions, one is fully extended and one is fully collapsed. The sad thing about this stock is that it is actually very very uh, short. If I just show you a comparison to a, a Raider stock or rather what we have here is a short blast stock. So I put them side by side. Uh, you can see that the uh, the overall length is roughly about the same but you can see that the portion that is actually exposed or rather that you can press against your a boob or your chest it's actually very very short almost about half the length so that's quite sad uh, it's actually not that comfortable yeah but otherwise uh, i'm glad they did have a stock in the first place because i guess most uh, blasters uh, should have a stock and makes it very uh, comfortable and uh, last thing is that um oh yeah i think i left out this tactical rail on the top there's also a scope uh, sort of a scope or a sight over here and you also do have your uh, sling mount or uh, places to attach uh, a sling. Yeah, I guess you can put one over here as well. Okay, uh, now I'll go ahead and load up the batteries which can be accessed um, after you remove these three screws at the front. This will be your battery tray. Uh, this blaster fires using 4C batteries so uh, I had to purchase those as well which is why I don't really like uh, battery operator blasters. Yeah. Okay guys, I've loaded up the 18 dart clear clip. I do quite like the appearance of the clear clip. Uh, it's not frosted nor is it tinted any color, it's entirely clear. So uh, I do like it a lot but uh, I guess some of the reviewers have actually mentioned that you know uh, with the clear clip um, others or you know your opponents can actually see how many darts you have left. Uh, I'm not actually uh, uh, too concerned about that uh, mainly because I'm unlikely to use this at a war to begin with uh, but otherwise I mean uh, for them to actually take notice or uh, of how many darts you have inside the clip number one is that they do have to be relatively close number two is that uh, you know when people are running around when they are actually uh, focusing on shooting and stuff um, 
uh, the last place uh, or one of the last places I'll look is actually at the cliff so uh, not too big of a concern for me but uh, yeah that's just one thing to take note um, okay there are several locks in place so uh, you cannot rev up the blaster uh, if you do not have a clip inserted so yeah just insert your blaster when firing this blaster basically if you want to fire it off in a semi-auto way you just got to control your trigger pull otherwise if you want to shoot it uh, full auto yeah just um, Hold down the trigger and then actually it can actually uh, just uh, fire off uh, full auto of course <laughs> so yep rev up the blaster uh, there is one lock here whereby if you actually have the jam door out of place uh, it cannot rev up so yeah that's one thing to take note uh, otherwise uh, what i will shoot or what i will show you guys now is uh, i'll just be firing off the 18 uh, darts i'll be firing off at that corner of my room so that actually i know where the uh, darts will be collected so um first nine i'll be firing off uh, in a semi-auto form the next nine i'll be firing off full auto okay so as you can see uh, if you do actually hold on to the trigger too long uh, i think my second or third shot i actually fired off two instead of one so yeah uh, no big no biggie i mean i guess over time you will get used to it so the next nine i'll fire off in full auto Okay, and uh, after you fire off all the blasters, you can actually uh, just keep revving up as I mentioned and uh, this is the cool thing which I like about it a lot. Okay, you can actually see the... <laughs> if you know what I mean. So yeah, you can actually uh, see the uh, dart pusher uh, going forward and backward, yeah. Yeah. After playing around with this blaster, I've actually grown to like it more and more. As I mentioned, I'm not really too big a fan for this kind of blaster, but I have to do. Uh, well, but I did pay quite a lot for it. Good thing is that next time when my nephews come over, uh, they don't have to actually play with my uh, other blasters, whereby they have to prime it, or those, you know, spring or air power blasters. Uh, so usually they do play with my barricade, or right now is the uh, stockade. Yeah, mainly these two blasters and uh, for those that they actually find it difficult to prime, I use, uh, I, I, I'll just uh, prime it for them, then they can actually uh, play with it. But yeah, now that this is in, uh, now that I do have this on hand, maybe they can actually switch to this, although it is really, really quite heavy and uh, the one thing I have noticed is that when you are actually revving up the trigger, if you're using one hand, there will be a lot of pressure on this area which uh, downward pressure on this area which can be a little bit annoying and uh, tiring at the same time but i guess if you do hold it like this and shoulder it against your chest uh, should be perfectly fine last thing i have to show you guys is this when i did purchase this today it came with a free mission app uh, tactical rail mount uh, good and bad good thing is that this uh mission app tactical rail mount can actually fit your iphones inside for you to play uh, the different types of uh, game modes uh turn your battle turn your blaster into a battle camera record da -da -da -da, as well as on the reverse side so yeah over here uh quite a cool uh nerf accessory to have it came free don't think you can actually purchase this separately but the downside is that you can only fit your iphones or ipod touch in which case I'm currently using a Samsung uh, Galaxy S3, so yeah, probably not so applicable for me. Uh, given that, I will keep this in this box and maybe down the road, uh, I will do a review on it separately. But yeah, let me know if you guys want me to review this, otherwise I won't really waste my time, I'll just keep it in the box. Alright, this blaster, um, given that it does have a lot of tactical rails, I went to think of what kind of combination will actually make your end strike, uh, rapid strike the most uh, tactical. Uh, of course, there are many different ways you can do it, but this is one of the ways that I figured would look quite cool. Uh, this, I think, is from your retaliator, your uh, foregrip. And uh, over here, I also have an elite uh, pinpoint sight. This was actually sort of given to me by Psych. Thanks a lot, bro. I appreciate it. And of course, uh, given uh, it was free. Uh, these two and the last one is actually using a dart drum. And this is not your radar. I forgot where this is from. Uh, is it from the Alpha Trooper? I think it's from the Alpha Trooper. So yeah, it's a small little drum. And I think uh, with this kind of setup, it actually looks the coolest. Uh, it's not actually too overdone. And uh, given that... Uh, uh, this blaster does have a lot of uh, uh, accessories. Uh, most of us tend to go slightly overboard, but anyway, this is, uh, in my opinion, one of the nicer looking uh, accessories and uh, mounts you can actually attach to it. So, but yep, there's no right or wrong. You can do whatever you want. Uh, go and pip up your rapid strike and uh, post in the comments below how yours looks like and what you attach to it. Maybe if you can actually link me to your video and I can go and, uh, go ahead and take a look. Otherwise, uh, that's about it for today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. 
uh, leave comments below PM me if any questions and one more thing a modified a long shot uh, thanks for watching